All right, hey guys, it's Damien, and uh, we're gonna go and see what Colson's doing. Colson, what are you up to? How's it going? Show them the new place, man. Show them the new little area on oh. setup. Oh. All of our fish and stuff. Those are all tackle boxes, rods, some reels that are really old. Expensive. My new tackle gear. Pretty much brand new. Got it from my uh, stepbrother's grandpa. Um, but I'm making right now, I'm making some deep sea leaders for Haddock and Pollock and Cod. Um, Cod. We're going Sunday. Or no, Monday. Here's the rig. You might want to back up a little. And then I'll move. Hold on a sec, I'm getting a phone call. No clue who it is. Hello? Phone call on camera. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy. Zoom in. Oh, it's Jeremy. Zoom in right on his nose. How long? Oh, I don't know about that. You got that, a beautiful dude. nostril. I don't know about a couple hours. Yeah. Okay, so. Alright. We're pretty much using coming down to get his worms. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this is our new setup. Sorry for that, guys. Um, so. I kind of zoomed in on your beautiful nostril. But this is the rigs we're going to be making it. We're, I use 60 pound tests. Uh, do you remember the name of them? Um, no, I don't, but. These, this is a 90 pound braid on my in, uh, International 975 reel, which is really Pen. nice. Pen. All right, so let's get started. Here, you might want to take a seat, Damien. All right, we'll so just call these cod, pollock, and haddock All right, so I'm going to show you what they're actually used for. I just got a thing. All right, so there's three loops. No, Four, I actually. You might want to sit on the floor. No, because I set the... Uh, right, so here it is right here for loops you take uh, your weight which this is a six ounce weight for deep sea fishing you take it you put it through the eyelet right here okay and then you take it and you put this thing so you don't have to go around all the so line so you don't have to tie up so you do that okay you can take it all off after and then you slide this down and I'm just going to go into my handy dandy notebook so here's is that copyrighted? You're gonna need two um <laughs> two hooks. I use circle hooks because I think they work better. Oh, um, I gave him that one. Yeah, these are all ones that he's given me. But no, I only gave him one, right? Or no, I give you yeah, three. Gave I give you three. All right, but I'm gonna cr crimp the end right here. Oh, can't you use? We should show him how to make one. Of yeah, we'll these. do that too. Um, in our next video. So I like to crimp it a little bit just because it makes it easier to put through the eyelet. <coughs> yeah, it's got checkpoint pliers. Yeah, like those are $125. Pretty expensive. Got them for free though. And then you put it. <laughs> got them for free though. Got it, you put it right through the loop, same way you did with the weight. Yep. Now we're going to show you in a more sophisticated way. So take this, run it through right here. Take the hook and put it through the loop and pull it. It gives you a knot like that. So the the only time it'll ever break is if, if the if knot breaks, or yeah, it's you're not gonna break because of a fish on the knot snapping. So and then you got this one right here, this knot. We should make video. And yeah, you that take one's a you take a swivel, swivel and you hook it to here on your line and you take it and you put squid or macro macro or whatever you use on there and you drop it to the bottom. It's a bottom rig, and you just let it sit there. So, we're going to show you how to do that, and what's nice about these is you can literally just take the stuff off if you want to go to a heavier weight. Literally just pull it, or a different hook, off, push it down. It's super easy, which is one of my favorite things, and it's a nice rig to make. Because most rigs you have to tie it all on, so then it's a one-time rig. If it breaks, it's junk. So, there you go. This one, if it breaks, it's probably going to break in the middle, so you still have half of it. Yeah, you'll still be able to throw weight. So we're going to show you how to make this. I like to keep a spool of 60-pound test in here. It's not really, like, name brands. It's just salt water, 60-pound test. 
and I put it up here since these are all my tools, like knife sharpener, pliers. I mean, we could put it on the screwdriver. Bulb grips and all this. A screwdriver. <laughs> screwdriver. Leatherman. Yeah, you can unscrew the fish. Well, and then I just keep it here so I can pull it out when I need it. So, I'm probably going to need another thing of that since I just lined it. Yeah, right. hey. So, first thing you're going to do Good is friend. You're pull out some line. Good friend. You want a bigger loop on the bottom for your weight because you can go up to a higher weight size so yeah. take it and you put it around like this okay take make a loop loop it like that so it's just hanging here put it the loop inside that loop and rotate it so it's pretty much like <coughs> pull that tight you're pretty much just taking a loop and tying a regular square knot in it but you're wrapping it around three times and then take this right here snip, snip that off Boom. And then you go up to where you want your hook to be on the bottom. And that's probably about what? Five uh, inches? No, probably a little longer than that. Probably like eight to ten inches. You take it and you do like the same thing almost, except you take a, it a little bit smaller. You wrap them like that. I just like these ones just to be a little bit smaller because. Your hook's not going to be. Yeah, it's not going to be all over the place. Unless you're fishing like. Grouper, but when you fish grouper, you usually use um, crimp, crimp. Um, yeah, you use crimps and crimps for the, and you usually have like 200 pound line, which is gnarly. So I think we'll just use 60, 60, which because we're probably not gonna catch anything bigger than that. No, I want to go for halibut. Yeah, that'd be fun. I saw uh, a guy on YouTube. He reeled in 430 pound halibut. So it was like a 10 foot boat too. No, 20 foot boat. Take this right here. Boom, and there's your rig. But then you want to take, go up another one, like and six do inches, a little tiny one. Really, and that one is for your uh, your swivel to hook onto, yeah, or your tie your line off to. I'd rather use a swivel because your line would probably uh, spin it, and, and it would uh, hit and you really it would squeeze, it would squeeze this line and probably break it. So just pull it. <laughs> Real tight. I just use my checkpoints because that's they're 125 bucks, which is so. I mean, why wouldn't you use them? Pretty expensive, and it's not like I'm just gonna put them around. So then you take your snips, which I just have like little wire snips, which is nice to have in case I have to break a swivel. Especially with like 60 pound test. Or and it makes it a clean cut. So you just snip this off, and that's your rig. This one's a little bit shorter, which I think I'll probably end up using, just because I don't want to be running a huge leader. Yeah, I'll probably just in preference. So that's um, pretty nice. Um, I like that one. Subscribe to. I'm um, the Hook with Colson. That's my channel. Um, subscribe to me, ba uh, Bam Fisher. Um, so yeah, like the video if you like it. Dislike if you dislike it. Uh, give us some feedback. You know? Yep. Comment. And then we're gonna show you how to tell do us some different tell us uh, different ideas. rigs if you want. We may do uh, we may view those and do a video on that. So uh, yeah, see you later. See you. Peace.